Stepping in John Line, guys. Welcome back to Hitman Contracts. This is Chapter 3, and when we last left off, we had really not a stealthy mission. That one went really to shit. But like I said before, half the fun is rolling with it, and that's what we did, and we're continuing on. So I think it's the Bajarkov bomb next, if I'm not mistaken. This one's a long one, so if I screw it up, it's going to fuck me over bad. <coughs> That's Russian. Must be Bianco's base. Fuchs is probably off the plane already. Gotta be quick. But it won't be as easy getting off this plane as it was getting on. He's already too far ahead to grab, so we're going to wait for the next guy. Because there's going to be another guy that comes on, that one right there. Sedate him, grab him, you know how it goes. Um, I forgot to mention, so Silent Assassin's weird in this. I can't remember all the parameters, but I do know that if you kill people that's not the target, you can still get Silent Assassin. But I think, um, I can't remember if this game, if it's this game where you get like, I know one of the games you get like a certain amount of kills. Like I was about to say, I can't remember if it was this game. Oops. I would love to leave him right there, but I believe he will be discovered if I just leave him right there. Um, put him behind where we were hiding out. There we go. <clears throat> now I do believe we are going to get searched at some point or another. Maybe not, though. Hmm. Must have been mistaken. So I think we have three objectives for this one, too. We gotta kill these two guys. And then destroy the dirty bomb production capability. So basically blow up this ship. You do that fast enough when no one's looking, this guy will be poisoned from it. It's not going to be this cycle. It's going to have to be the next cycle, unfortunately, but still. <coughs> so, unfortunately, there's going to be a fair bit of waiting here, but sometimes it can't be helped. And this, uh, this one particularly, it has a lot of places. As you can see, the next target's over there. And then this is the uh, the base that we have to blow up. So we have to get bombs. And I think the bombs... I can't remember where the bombs are. I think they're on the ship, actually. And then you have to plant them around the ship.
So we didn't outright poison this guy. We just kind of gave him laxatives. And I think he might get quote unquote poisoned by this batch. So we'll see. And then this right here is actually the next hanger over. Or rather the hanger over next to us. So it's like right in the same area just beside us. <clears throat> this mission isn't a super hard mission to... Well, it's not a hard mission to stealth. It's definitely one of the easier missions. The hard mission is... Or the hard part about it is getting Silent Assassin. Because if I remember correctly... Um, when you go to blow up the, that ship for the last objective, sometimes it kills some of the people around you or around the ship rather. And then you lose your silent assassin rating because of that. Thought I screwed up for a second there. <clears throat> but I didn't. Uh, so let's go ahead and put that away. Nakanyatsta. Commander Byarkov is ready to meet you at the ship. Follow me, Mr. Fox. Thank you, soldier. This part's super annoying because you have to follow him. But he takes a while to get to uh, where you want to be. We're not even really halfway done this mission yet. Like I said before, this is the first mission in this game where you have to kind of wait around for a while. Or it just kind of takes a while. It's still not as bad as, uh... I can't remember what the mission's called, but the one on Blood Money. It's the one at the Opera House. It's like the second mission. And if you want to do it stealthy, there's a couple different ways. One of the ways, though, requires you to wait in, like, the, the changing room for two three minutes and it's just obnoxiously annoying and the other thing that sucks about hitman 2 silent assassin about it not working was i turned every setting down to the lowest possible thing just to even help the game out and give it more of a chance but no nah, it still didn't still didn't work which sucked because i mean i think by default this game starts with all the settings up to pretty much the max and it looks decent for what it's worth I mean I definitely wouldn't compare it to top tier games out here now like I wouldn't say this looks as good as the new hitman game does but I would say it doesn't look shitty as all hell like you know what I mean <coughs> Speed him up a bit there. And the worst part is we have to come all the way back. Because that's the only escape route out of here. I mean, we don't have to wait for this guy or take the train or anything like that. But still, it's going to take a while. Now there is one point when we get on the ship that we're going to be searched and stripped of stripped of our weapons. So I'm just going to drop our weapons prematurely before that. We still have our fiber wire so that we can kill the uh, the commander there. The captain, whatever we're calling him. Well, no, he said commander, so. Commander it would be, I guess. This is where my memory starts to elude me. I can't remember what's next. I think it's the... the uh, the mansion one, I think. Because I know the, uh... All the tried ones with the Lee Hong assassination is later. And I know after... It should be after that, but I think it's even before that in this game. The, uh... The one where you have to kill Boris. Traditions of the Trade is in this one as well. But that's later. So after this, I think it's the Bellingford Manor or whatever you call it. So 
So we're just gonna ditch this guy. Now, you can't really do a whole lot out here because there are guard towers with snipers in them. So if you do anything suspicious in the out, out here in the open, you will get seen. There's the commander right up there. Наконец-то. Go right in, Mr. Fox. <laughs> commander is expecting you. Thanks, soldier. It is possible. Second door on the right. It is possible to snipe the commander, but uh, at the angle he's at, it's just annoying. Can't remember what's in there. I think there might be. Um, did I pick up the other one? No, I didn't. There might be bombs in behind all those guys there. But it's just too difficult to get to, obviously. <coughs> Stand the procedure, sir. Stand still. I understand. I've been approved, so let's head on over. This guy's a sniper, too. Walk by the doors. Yeah, I did walk by the door. I always forget it's closer than I think it is. <coughs> this is funny of how awkward it is. 47 is like, yeah, sure, whatever. So good to meet you at last, Fabian. I prefer doing business face to face. We shall have some vodka. None for me, thanks. No? Hmm. Very well, Fabian. Very well. For a second there, I thought I was gonna screw that up. Thankfully, I didn't. This is the game, the, well, the first game that started collecting weapons. I'm not going to collect all the weapons. I'm not even going to bother to go out of my way to collect weapons. So, because you can't take a loadout, so there's really no point. You get the, the weapons you do unlock and stuff you can use in the training levels, but that's really it, unfortunately. So there's one more thing we gotta do. This is the hardest part about this level. <coughs> Let's see if I remember correctly. I think that big hanger over there is where I can get a rad suit. You don't need a rad suit to get the bombs on the ship, but if you don't take one, then you're gonna take constant damage, so you have to kinda of get in and get out pretty fast. So it's just obviously safe, safer to grab one. And I mean, plus I don't think I'm allowed over there as this disguise, so in hindsight, I need a new disguise anyways. There we go. So now we're just round as all hell. We look like Shrek, I guess, from the back. Minus the weird pack on the back. Spoiler alert, this is the sprite they used to animate Shrek. <laughs> That'd be crazy if it was. So this is the hard part because there's so many guys here and your cover can get blown so easy in this game. They kind of have to stay away from people. Take all three of those. As long as I don't get too close to this guy. And then the other thing 
Because I have to plant a bomb here, but he's on his cycle back that way. So he shouldn't see me. So I can do it safely. <coughs> now, the relevance to this, I don't think is ever said anywhere. But thinking about it now, this is probably to... Obviously stop the spread of bombs and whatnot, but you think about it, Boris has a, a dirty bomb when you play his mission way later. Is it here? Yeah, it is there. <coughs> so I want to get a fair distance before I blow it up. Obviously. But yeah, no. Thinking about it now, obviously, in correlation with this to the rest of the story, this is probably where Boris got his dirty bomb from this guy here. I just have to be careful getting out of here now. I think we can blow this up as far as way as far away as the tram, if I'm not mistaken. Do it any sooner and we're gonna have guards swarming this area. Can't remember if I crossed this or not, but I'm gonna cross it on the way back. <coughs> the worst thing about me being sick right now is I'm just completely and totally congested. And I already have like a hard time breathing anyways, but this is just like ten times worse. Alright, so, we're on literally the home stretch here. So I basically did the mission perfectly. It's just a gamble of whether or not I get Silent Assassin now. Now, I never really had this problem with the mission, getting like Silent Assassin or not. But I have seen it before happen, so. Just trying to remember how far back I can activate this. At least it told me. So yeah, no, we'll see if uh, I get Silent Assassin or not. I'm pretty sure I will because... I think the parameter of getting Silent Assassin or not is that one guy. If you see that one guy that was standing kind of in front of the ship when all the other guys were going there, if you see him, I think you will get it. But don't quote me on it. Like I said, I know this mission is really finicky. So that guy did wake up. They do wake up after a while. <laughs> so we did get it. So for achieving silent assassin rating, you have been awarded bonus weapon, silver ballers silent. So we have the dual silver ballers. Now they're silenced. It's kind of bittersweet considering I fucked up the last mission, which was a lot easier than this one. So I only got one alert, which isn't too, too bad. I think it's alerts that this game is based off of, but I could be wrong. I remember it's something weird. Anyways, I'm going to end it here, and when we come back, we'll come back with the next one. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, fan, and stay calm down below. Don't forget to subscribe and share as well. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.